And now, now, now. Mm, that's fun. Talk and rock. The Big Dumb Fun Show. Back on the Big Dumb Fun Show where we hang out at BigDumbFunShow.com. Friend, fan, follow us on MySpace, YouTube, Twitter, Eventful Reverb Nation. We're covering most all the social networking sites. You can just find us there online. Or in replay. Or you replay. can go to the show's website, BigDumbFunShow.com, and watch the show in replay. Or Google+. Plus. Yeah, no. that's MySpace. No, I think we I mentioned know. those. I know. All those were mentioned. You guys have the coolest show ever. Stevie Wonder to bring us back in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the blindness is because we don't know where we're going either. Right on. Right on. <laughs> oh. So, Chris, you wanted to talk about Kristen a little bit, huh? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm just interested in line producing. Well, and the fact that um, somebody could be that good with numbers that's that attractive, you know? I think yeah, both. I, I, hey. Don't judge. I have a finance degree, too. She's got some good numbers. 34, 24, 34. I'm not judging Kristen, at all. Kristen. Oh, I thought you meant Rena. No, yeah. no. I'm not a 24 kid. Well, well, Kristen texted me while we're sitting here, so she's watching from L.A. She's probably texting me right now because my phone's buzzing again. But um, I think Chris probably saw some of her pictures on Facebook from, Ooh, from our yeah. shoot. I was living vicariously through your um, Lake of the Ozarks trip, actually. <laughs> yes, I don't think she knew that I took that picture. I think she was sleeping at the moment. <laughs> okay. So it was a, bit of a, a creeper <laughs> moment for me. So was she at the Lake of the Ozarks just this weekend? And No, a couple of weekends back when we were filming down there. We, oh. we got out on a boat for a little bit just to shoot mostly B-roll, but uh, mm -hmm. we was that having a three-hour party instead. At Party Cove? We didn't make it to Party Cove, unfortunately. We rented a boat at the dam, so as you know, that's what... 20 miles yeah, by that's water, a so pretty it's a ways. So we didn't, we only had three hours. So we just hung around. So you're like, just trying to get there. <laughs> nah, we were just in a <laughs> We're going to get some B, C, and D roll here. <laughs> we anchored, we drank, we swam. Uh huh. We you filmed. Back. How that's did you it. get involved in doing this film work when you were working at the National Baseball or Basketball well, Museum? Well, actually, it was Basketball Hall of Fame that kind of gave me my break. Um, the first exhibit I worked on there was the women, uh, History of Women's Professional Basketball, and the donor for the exhibit gave us money to make a documentary, and the chief curators said to me, you make the film part of this. And I said, shit, I don't shoot. Shoot, I don't know how to do that. Ship. So, um, yeah, basically I got some uh, – studio time from midnight to eight in the morning because it was very affordable and luckily i landed the editor who did shark week and so he made me look really good and oh that's went off cool and running stuff. from there wow mm -hmm. so what'd you do right after that after i left uh, the basketball hall of fame i wound up in st louis with bowling for a while at the bowling hall of fame and, and somebody uh, said hey we need a documentary did did a lot of video work there um you would believe it or not bowling has a lot of money in it and and it used to have a whole lot of prestige. It was the big sport in the 50s. I was talking to Billy Hardwick, who you know, was a Hall of Fame bowler. His son, Chris Hardwick, if you watch The Walking Dead, The Talking Dead afterwards, that's Chris Hardwick. That's Billy's son. Billy was telling us once about, in the 50s, it was just it was sex, drugs, and rock and roll for bowlers. The first millionaire athlete was a bowler. Don Carter signed a six, oh, really? a million-dollar contract with Ebonite. So are you that big into bowling I've, and I've basketball? Written a, I've written a book about bowling, actually, the little book oh. of bowling that you can probably find on Amazon very cheaply, affordably, <laughs> for a buck so or less. So you know all the rules and the tricks to get that strike, huh? Yeah, except I don't execute it very well. But <laughs> How did you get that ship started? What's that? Doing a book. Um, like, I'm working at this... Bowlers Hall of Fame. Running Press in Philadelphia actually contacted me. They they wanted to do the book and they asked me to write it, so I did. It was that simple. Did you have to do a lot of research? I, I kind of knew a lot of it off the top of my head, but yeah, uh -oh. to verify facts, I went back and checked on stuff and made sure it was accurate. But so, do you recommend a heavy ball or a light ball? For you, definitely a heavy ball. Really? Oh yeah, like a twenty pounder probably. Are you kidding me? You're trying to make my back go out. Yeah, probably. Yeah, you probably actually use a twelve, I think. Twelve? Yeah. I was thinking six. No. That's 12. like a little kid's ball. Hello. That's, I like to get that's my like a turkey stuck. testicle. Okay, I don't, <laughs> don't even go there. In the hole. So a twelve, okay, and that'll get me a strike. Well, if you throw it down the middle and find the pocket, yeah. How about Chris? I don't know. Are you An a eight pounder. Chris? Um, yeah. No, I'm not a good bowler. My grandpa um, threw the, probably 25, 300 games. Uh, if you put up the bumpers, your average. Yeah, I'm, I'm excellent then. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm about a 140, 150 bowler. You know, I can. Mm. Get, I'm, I'm just as likely to get 100 as 200. Now, but how would you, if you're working from the basketball hall, hall of fame, to go to bowling? I mean, you have to learn quite a bit, like just about bowling. Were you really that interested I, I, I've, in my, bowling? Were you like, I like the shoes, but. I have degrees in history and archaeology, and I've always been a big sports nut. Mm -hmm. I was, um, you know, I ran track in high school and was very successful, won state title actually in track, and have just very been very interested in sports. So, 
for me, it's just like secondhand knowledge, you know. Didn't you, I you read just, your son? Is do you have a son? Uh, yeah, okay. he's eight. And he is winning something, or well, he just made the uh, he made the county all star team, and oh, wow. um, they're having their big tournament at Longview Lake, uh, July second, third, and fourth, and. Hopefully he'll make the championship game. As I understand it, I heard uh, Mike Sanders, the county executive on 810 Sports the other day, talking about it. They're going to have the, the all-star tournament games, and then right after that, it's supposedly the biggest fireworks display in county history. So I expect there will be thousands of people in Longview. On July Lake Park, 3rd? Uh, on the 4th no, of July, That's actually yeah. just the gunfire. That's just the gunfire, <laughs> yeah. And so the, I bet you those kids will end up probably being at Royal Stadium during the all-star game, I'm going to imagine. Not my son, because we'll, we won't be in Kansas City during oh, okay. the all-star game, unfortunately. I wish I were, but That's we're going to be back down in the Ozarks hanging out for a week. Filming or no? Just hanging just out. Just have more, more fun. More now, do you have a cabin down there or something? No, I have a sister who lives about 45 minutes north of Poplar Bluff. So okay. I get down there. Right on. That's very cool. That's cool. So it's kind of more like a natural progression going from just one curator to being a curator somewhere else and that kind of just kind of led to, to going to like the Pony Express in well, St. Well, it turns Joe. out my wife is like, from, well, bowling, my wife's from Wyandotte like County. So she grew up right over by Go Chick and Go on 7th Street and she wanted to move back to this area. And so that was just a kind of my natural progression of working her back to her hometown. And then she got here and said, what in the hell did I want to move back here for? But and here then we are. Like, well, let's go to St. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> well, we wound up in St. Joe first, and then Independence about six years ago. So what museum are you curating in Independence? None. The American uh, International Meth Hall of Fame? Yes. <laughs> hey, that is uh, Yeah, we run a mobile meth lab from the there. Walmart the, parking lot on 3rd. The history of meth right here in this laboratory. Where do Rolling you think Stone? they got all their money to make that Walmart a super center, huh? That's right. They sell a lot of cold medicine there. Yes, they do. They, do. <laughs> they definitely do that. <laughs> so do you have now? Tell us, do you have any other projects right now? I mean, you got like five things going on at once. Yeah. Um, so one of my partners is a guy named Lamont Dobson who has a, a company called um, Shovel Ready Productions, and he used to be a professor at Drury University down in um, Springfield, and he just got hired at Central Michigan. He's an archaeology professor. And he partners with a guy named Randy Fuller, who's at University of Tulsa. And, and as I said, we've made this show, well, we started making this show, America from the Ground Up. And it already has a, a PBS distribution, an international distribution. We just really need some more money to uh, finish it. So if there are any angels listening, watching, <laughs> that want to fund <laughs> testicle festivals or archaeology shows, testicle find me. <laughs> <laughs> or they sell them there. Do you have a website? Um, yeah, but it's not really up yet. Okay. Uh, yeah, ShovelReadyProductions.com. Shovel, go to americasarchaeology.org. Okay. That would be the best one. The Two Weeks the LLC website. We've got an address, but no How website How about a Facebook? Yet. Yeah, uh, look for Travis Boley. I'm on Facebook. I'll friend Travis you. Travis Boley. I'm, I'm very friendly. <laughs> yeah. you're hot. Boley, B-O-L-E-Y, correct? Thanks for hanging out with the Big Dumb Fun Show. Thanks, Thanks for Travis. having me, guys. Thanks, Travis.